allow me to introduce you to my friend. His name is Cesare Borgia. He was born in September 1475 and died in March of 1507. Some people think he's the model for our modern notion of Jesus, but he's not. I know, I know, I thought so too, but it looks like we were wrong. I'd heard the rumors and seen the pictures, shrugged and went on, but apparently there's more to it than I thought. We know Jesus looked more like this guy than this guy. But the misconception we have now is not because of Cesare Borgia. It's more due to our nature to make our gods look like ourselves than any influence Pope Alexander VI may have had. Actually, though, this is an easy one. All we have to do is look to artwork of Jesus before the birth of Cesare Borgia. This show topic was a suggestion from my Facebook friend, Robert Smith. So, blame him. Thank you, Robert. Let's go back here to artwork of the 14th, early 14th century. Here are a couple of paintings from an early 14th century painter named Duccio di Buonensegna, an Italian artist painting who he believed to be Middle Eastern people. Although this Christ is a little more olive skinned, he does have the typical beard and hair in each of these photographs. Here, in The Lamentation of Christ by Giotto de Bandone, circa 1306, we see another Italian artist before the birth of Cesare Borgia painting a similar looking Jesus, similar beard and hair, but this one is distinctly more white, as are all these sun-kissed Middle Eastern folk. Except this one guy. He looks like he's blushing. He must have farted or something. Anyway, here's one of the best images disproving the Cesare Borgia theory. This is Ece Oma, and was painted by a Dutch artist named Hieronymus Bosch around the time Cesare Borgia was born. Painted between 1475 and 1485 at best, Borgia would have been about five years old when this was painted. Painted, I might add, by a man in a faraway country who spoke a completely different language. Now, when we go back and look at the picture of Cesare Borgia, we'll notice there's this little note here. <clears throat> that says portrait of a man traditionally said to be Cesare Borgia. Not exactly a positive ID. And he was known to be infected by syphilis, so severely in fact that he wore a leather mask to cover his disfigurement. Also, here's a look at his father, Pope Alexander VI. That dude is powerful ugly, even in his own commissioned artwork. I suspect what really happened was that Pope Alexander VI had a rather homely child, whose unfortunate looks were compounded with a nasty case of syphilis. And when the artwork was commissioned, it was Cesare Borgia who was painted to look like the notion they already had of Jesus Christ, as borne out by their other artworks from previous times, and not Jesus, who was painted to look like Cesare Borgia. What do you think? Am I right or am I right or am I right? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Thank you for your time.